Hi and welcome to Sumac Watches. In this short video I'll be demonstrating how to safely remove the hands from a CWC watch, a G10, W10 or diver's watch. Really the process and the risks are the same for any watch but at Sumac Watches we're big on military watches and CWCs in particular and that's what I'll be using to demonstrate this technique. With watches we see coming through our workshop, the most obvious issue associated with removal of hands is damage to the dial. This is the result of failing to protect the dial surface when removing the hands. This is so common that it was the main reason for making this video. But there are other issues too which I'll explain as we go through the process. The first step obviously is to get the movement, complete with dial and hands, out of the case. This is covered in our other videos, so in this video we'll assume that you've got that far already, but there are a couple of things you can do to help the process before you take the movement out of the case. Firstly, remove the battery for quartz watches, or allow the movement to fully unwind if it's a mechanical watch. Secondly, set the hands to 12 o'clock. That will give you the space to get in at the hands and to apply even force on each side as you remove them which, as I'll cover later, is really important. So with the watch powered down and the hands set to 12, remove the stem and extract the watch from the case. Just one note of caution though, when you take the movement out of the case, be really careful how you handle it, as the hands are very vulnerable and easy to damage. You're now ready to remove the hands, so we need to talk about tools. There are various options for hand removal, such as the Bergeon Presto type tool, but my preference is for simple hand lifting levers like this. You can buy them very cheaply, but my advice is to buy better quality, like Horatech, and pay a bit more. You just insert the ends under the hands where they fit onto the movement in the centre, and then you lever the hands up. Very simple to use, and there's nothing in the way so you can see what you're doing. However, you must protect the dial while you do this. You can buy special protective film specifically for this job and they'll protect the dial but not the hands. So my preferred method is to use a thin piece of transparent polythene. This must be absolutely clean. If there's any dirt, oil or grease on it, it will be transferred to the dial. Just place the polythene over the dial and then gently push one of the levers under one side, perpendicular to the direction of the hands. This will fold the polythene around the hands on that side. Then do the same for the opposite side. You can now begin applying a gentle and even force to the levers, pushing down at the ends which will push the hands up and off the centre posts. This is where I need to warn you about a couple of other issues. Firstly, if you apply uneven pressure, you risk bending the centre post. I see this a lot, and it won't be obvious until you refit the hands, which will no longer rotate on a flat plane. Because the centre post is bent to one side, the hands will rotate on a slanted plane will be high on one side and low on the other, potentially fouling the dial on the low side or the underside of the crystal on the high side, or both. So even pressure on both levers. The second risk of applying uneven pressure is that you actually snap the centre seconds pinion that the seconds hand fits onto. In some watches, for example the Smith's W10, this is quite brittle and it can easily break. So again, even pressure on both sides will avoid bending the centre post or snapping the centre seconds pinion. One further risk here, in particular with watches that have tritium tubes at the indices, is that as you lower the ends of the levers, the levers come into contact with the edge of the dial and can damage the tritium tubes or other applied markers. So take care and if necessary just rotate the dial slightly to avoid them as you push down on the levers. Keep pushing and the hands should come up off the posts. They can be quite firmly attached but you're using the right tools with the right technique and everything is protected. 
just gradually increase the force don't suddenly apply full pressure and everything should be fine there you go that's the hands safely removed no damage to the dial or the movement thanks very much for watching for more military watch stuff follow us at sumac watches on instagram and have a look at our website sumacwatches.com Wow. <laughs>